Hey guys, Brandon here, Strategic Growth Experts. I'm with Steve Park, just talking about the implosion of a forex trading company, and we're just talking about you know, how to be successful online, how to provide value, you know, what kind of uh, things we're doing. So, how are you actually monetizing your list? Well, I mean, well, I mean, the stuff is really simple. Cool. Like, I'm, I'm no one special. Like, I just turned like 20 years old, like a couple months back, and I had no like life. I I had a strong passion and dream, but I was working nine to nine to five every single day, like helping my parents restaurant. Like I'm no one special. I'm no sales expert. You know, you know, I, I just do my thing, and you know, I've been in multiple companies, you know, streams of you know, network, thinking that you know, you know, every single company like sold dreams and sold all this promise, all this thing, you know, power movements, all the shady things, and people don't realize that that stuff doesn't work at all. Um, you know, once you come in, you have to recruit, 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 and people don't even know how to recruit one person in their average year or two of network marketing. Some people have done it for three, four years. They never can recruited anybody in their life, you know, and bringing one person is tough because it's, everything has to do with sales, and you have to sell your friends and family over and over and over, and that stuff doesn't work, right? When I first came in, I had no mentors that actually taught me how to do all these things. I They showed me how to do three-way calls, all these, like, little, little bitty things, but I have to learn everything by myself, and after that, I'm just like, okay, I know how to recruit. I know how to get through 30, 40 people, but once two, three months goes away, everything starts over, and you have to recruit over and over again. That's the traditional MLM, right, multi-level marketing. The same thing with affiliate marketing. It doesn't matter how good the compensation plan is, no matter how good of a – especially a service company is designed for you to fail because if there's no real value given out, there's – just designed to fail, right? Maybe a product, maybe a, like a phone product, right? You pay monthly residual bills for your AT&T or T-Mobile, right? Those are, you know, like you see value in it. That's why you get it. Everybody on this call has a phone. That's why you get it, right? If there's no true value into the product that you will spend literally monthly residual, then forget about it. Get the guy out of that company. Yeah, you know, you know what? It's, it's interesting. You know, when you talk about MLM too, when you talk about MLM, you know, you're really locked down. You're kind of tied down to their product, their brand, how they want to drive their company. You really have very little control. You're really just a salesperson. And, um, yeah, there's opportunity, and there's certain people with the model that are making money, uh, but from a, you know, there's limitations. Uh, you know, what are the what are kind of the limitations that you see from that perspective? Yeah, so the limitations for every single company out there. I, I'm not trying to just bash any specific companies that you know we were as as um, me and I were talking about just IML in general, but um, it just brought up the topic. But in general, any MLM, any any company that has a auto shipping place, there's a risk psychological barrier. Think about it. No matter how good the company is, if if the company actually gives you like a legitimate party, I mean, go for it. And then you know once you take the value away. You know, cancel the ownership or keep continuing if you genuinely like it and you don't care about, you know, doing business or making money, keep doing it. There's nothing wrong. But if it's, there's multiple thousands of companies and startups out there who fail within five years, um, the reason why is they're mostly a service company. Their limit, let's say Forks, for example, everybody pitches how Forks is like $5 trillion industry and how you can make so much money, like show you the potential of making trillions and trillions, you know, thousands and multi level, you know, thousands of dollars, right, within a 30-day period, within a one-week period through the auto trader with all this, you know, services, right? But they don't tell you the risk factor of losing that potential money. It's like a psychological barrier that they're trying to persuade you on to get you in out of hype. Basically, at a, at a high level, once you start having success in investing, your you, your job basically becomes risk management. That's essentially all it comes down to. You become a risk manager. And uh, getting started, it's easy to overlook the risks in anything. You know, it, it's kind of a risk reward. You have to measure it, and then you have to really commit. Because if you commit to doing something, you're you're responsible for the results you commit to. So you know who you're, what brand you're putting yourself behind, what kind of people you're committing to be around and to work with. You know, those those become your limitations as well as a lot of these people can help you and accelerate you. Right? You want to get around people who are going to accelerate you and bring you forward, but you've got to be really clear about what your position is and kind of what the risk that that the risk that exists that can show up. Whether and you might not be aware of it, you always got to be looking at what's the risk every time you make a choice. You got to look at what's the risk, and then consider the reward and just understand you're always going to be sold the reward, and and the, and the risk is typically in selling it's underplayed. So it's a 
great insight from uh, Steve here. So what kind, what kind of people have you met at this uh, at this event? Who did you connect with, and what what are you up to now? Well, um, I've connected with you know some some entrepreneurs here, you know, doing business for e-commerce, online businesses for a while. It's nice to connect, but at the end of the day, I, I'm here out to you know support my teams that I'm launching with uh, Enagic and. Uh, um, you know, just networking and mutual collaborations is how you do business nowadays. You can't really think about it. You, you always have to, you don't always have to be the starter of something, you know, of, of a product, of like a great idea. It's a matter of how, how you continue to trend, you know, implement. implement, right? If there's a strong trend going on in the fashion world or, or within a network marketing industry, right, you want to go in when the trend is about to happen, like on Facebook, when the trend was you know, happening, you know, about 10 years ago, eight years ago, I forgot when, right? Everybody were dominating Facebook and people who realized and thought early, they're like, holy shit, like the trend is starting. I can leverage Facebook to my advantage and make money out of it. And that's when MLMs went big, right? Yeah. So the starting of the trend uh, of how, how where, what people, you know, bring up is like the key to success. And that's why I'm here at the IMC event, you know, networking, a start of a big trend in the network marketing, internet marketing, whatever, whatever it is, online businesses in general are blowing up. And here out to network with thousands of people who I can later connect with and do business later on is like the key importance um, to your success. Yeah, you get around people who can teach you new things and really listen to them. You you have to realize that everybody has value to add. So it's easy. The, the biggest pitfall when you start jumping in and getting into these networking groups is, you know, you don't have the answers. You don't have all the answers. Even the top guys, they have to they have to strategize with each other to get these ideas and, and really clarify their vision. Um, and you know, so when when IMC announced Techademics, uh, you know, this concept of a of a of a internet marketing college that's going to be on the ground. You're going to have the best in the industry teaching you all the strategies that you need to be successful. Whether it's network marketing, whether it's um, you know, uh, direct sales, affiliate products, or, you know, whether it's a small business, you know, there's, there's a, everybody's looking for success online because the new economy is now online. And, uh, you know, even if, even if people aren't involved in getting the education or getting involved in the, in the networks, like, uh, with, uh, Chris and, and uh, tech academics here, um, what you should be. And if, and if you are, you need to get in contact with me because what we're doing here is huge. Um, but it doesn't matter what business you're in you really can make a difference just by learning. Stay around people who are educated and who are working on themselves day to day and who keep learning and educating themselves and, and, and uh, getting around the experts. That's the purpose of strategic growth experts. We want, we want to talk to experts. We want to talk to people who are experimenting, who are out there, who are in the trenches, doing the work with their business and building their businesses. Um, so I met my friend Steve uh, Park here. He's, uh, he's part of Enagic. He's, uh, he's using online marketing. Tell me, tell me about uh, how you got involved. Like, how did you, how did you get out of the kind of the brick and mortar type? You, were, you said you were working with a, at a family restaurant. You, you kind of broke out of that in, into into the realm of uh, online entrepreneurship. How'd you break out? Yeah, I mean, it was it was it was not simple. Um, you know, people think all of a sudden I just blew up on social media and you know, getting getting uh, placed with sales with my mentors, saying all this bullshit. And, and I I just tell them this: they don't see my offline grind. Everything that's portrayed on Facebook, people tend to believe. Everything that's portrayed on any social media, people tend to believe because that's what they want to believe. They don't see me putting in work hours and hours daily, losing sleep, you know, educating myself uh, with the different companies that are, that, that best fits for me, which, you know, have people that I surround myself with and mastermind every single day, they don't see my offline grind. And when I begin to you know, successfully leverage Facebook and online social media to my advantage. And I saw, like, you know, entrepreneurs like Gary Vaynerchuk, saw entrepreneurs like Ty Lopez, I saw entrepreneurs like Grant Cardone, one of the best salesmen in the world, right? Leverage social media free, no paid traffic for his advantage, and, and monetize it and show value and content what people actually want to freaking see and take away, right? And uh, once I uh, leverage that, you know, within two or three months, my business exploded. Whatever I had going on, it, you know, it, it, it impacted everyone's lives because I was showing them content. I was showing them how to, how to you know, take away uh, like a skill set for their businesses, any type of businesses, and branding and marketing. And I showed them a little bit of what I do and how I created my success. And, and they basically showed that portrayal through videography, through photography, through 
status is enjoying content, quotes, motivation, inspiration, anything of that nature. You post your lifestyle that you do your offline grind work with you, your family, your team online, and people will see how much work you'll put in. And I finally understood the algorithm of human psychology and how this works for everybody to just see and go like and go follow, right? It's, it's really simple, and I help you do that, you know, whether – People want to hit me up, you know, just to buy, you know, a cognitive machine, you know, a healthy filtration water system. It doesn't matter. Like, everybody comes to me asking about business advices mainly, and I appreciate that. Like, I help you every single way. You don't have to go in my team. You don't have to buy into a product. I want to become a mentor online so people can learn and follow and get the same exact, exact traffic that I get from, from, you know, within your circle and within your niche. So I help you with all that. So if you need anything, just hit me up. I'm Steve Park on Facebook. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll give him more numbers so uh, you guys can contact me through email or however. So I'll, I'll let him take it. Good stuff. Awesome. Awesome, Steve. Uh, la- one last question for you. How, when you started blowing up on social media, what did you do to start converting those people? How did you turn it into a business? Yes. I think about it, guys. And most people who, uh, most people who are not, you know, so tech savvy. I'm not a tech savvy guy. Yeah, I still am not, but I just know how to do the basic things in order. So when people like 30, 40 years old, they mostly hit me up and say, oh, I suck at social media. I don't know how to use the iPhone. I don't know how to do this and that. I was like, learn it from YouTube. Like, guys, I learned everything through YouTube. I do everything, my videography. I don't have a professional camera. I don't have any of, you know, the skill set of the intense editing, all this videography crap that people do to make it fancy and get no traffic from. I make it transparency. Yeah, I make it very transparent for people to use their smartphones. If you don't have a smartphone, you can't do business, obviously. So when someone's hitting you up on social media, how are you converting it? How do you convert it to a sale, or how do you, yeah. how do you work with them? What, yeah, what, yeah. What's the, the strategy? The conversion is being transparent. It's, it's very simple. Give back value through videography, through all all the content that you could do on your phone, right? I say I, any videos that you see on my social media, I post it through my phone. I use iMovie. I just use little edits, cuts in here and there, and just add nice music, and then people get attracted by that for some reason. I don't know why. Transparency, social media presence, I'm giving back something so they can take away, and that I'm showing them that I'm a normal guy with an iPhone or any smartphone device, filming myself, educating the masses out there, and giving them motivation. Not a lot of people, I don't see anybody on the internet, no matter what freaking business you're in, network marketing, affiliate marketing, they don't believe in their product or themselves enough to post content on social media. I don't see none of them. They have no traffic online. I'm the only person that I know in my circle who gets 200, 300 likes or thousands of views on my on every video that I post. Like, like nobody does this. That's why people want to see you do it. I don't know why people get so inspired by me. I just post videos and people like it. It's all about you stepping out of your circle and adding new people every single day, exposing yourself every single day, and getting better at, at becoming a storyteller and posting videos online that's really all i do awesome stuff well you heard it from uh from steve here thanks for listening guys we're going to be back with you closing out the uh, imc launch event here get in touch with me hit hit steve up get connect with him and you guys are ready to start learning how to how to build your funnel how to build your marketing start getting educated on the ins and outs of building your social media and selling get in touch you know where to find me thanks guys talk to you soon Hey guys, so thanks for listening. I, if you want to learn more about marketing your business online, becoming an expert on lead generation and learning how to do internet marketing for yourself and how to generate leads and sales, you need to get in contact with me. Go to strategicgrowthexperts.com, fill out the form, send me a message. Next week, I'm going to have access for you to get into the next event. It's going to be huge. You're not going to want to miss it. Make sure you get in touch with me.